All right, so brewery build update. I'm trying to get ready for the Brewzilla 65 liter brewing session tomorrow. And part of that is I really hate running up and down the stairs with water and all that stuff and trying to figure out a cooling solution without continuous running water. So my challenge today is to get the plumbing all done. And so I've got to do the sink, I've got to do the pump, get it tied into the system. And I'm gonna take you guys along for that. Uh, just kind of show you what I'm doing with the lift pump and all that stuff. So let me show you what I've got done so far with the sink part of it and explain a little bit of what's going on there. And then we'll take a look at what I'm doing with the lift pump. So let's check it out. All right, so what I've got going on here is the vent valve and it's connected to a T that goes into the wall there. And this vent valve is essential so that it doesn't pull all of the liquid out of one of these P-traps whenever you uh, drain the sink. If you don't have one of those in there, whenever that lift pump kicks in, it'll pull all the water out of there and that's not a good idea because then you're gonna vent gases back into the room that you're dealing with. So that is where I am so far. I've got to put the hot and the cold shutoffs on there. And then uh, sink is right here. Just got to get the hookups to it and I'm gonna put the uh, faucet and everything up on the wall. And uh, so I will have to disconnect this when I do the floor, but I just wanted to get something in place so that I can use some continuous water whenever I'm doing the brewing and mainly the chilling. So that's the main reason for this. And I know I'll have to disconnect it, but I really don't care because I want water. All right, in the storage area, here's the lift pump. And so there's a inlet side or a vent side, if you will. And then there is a discharge. So I've got the inlet on the top. And then as you can see, I plugged off the side here. I'm actually going to do a T in this and then put another one of those vents up on top of the T here so that I have double ventilation because I want to make sure that this thing is plenty vented and doesn't have any issues where it's sucking water out of the P-trap for the floor drain or the sink. So kind of a double ventilation system there. And uh, there's the pit and there's the quick disconnect or the union if you will. And then it's going to be running out of there up the wall and then up and over to the mechanical area. So uh, in the space there, you see a one-way valve. It is essential for one of these. You need a one-way valve so that all that column of water that's in the wall doesn't come rushing back down every time it hits the, every time the float drops down where it shuts the system off. So otherwise you'd have it coming up and down and up and down and it would just continuously run. So. I'm going to get to gluing some stuff together and I'll be back in just a minute to let you guys know what I have got done so far and kind of explain things as I go. All right, see. All right, quick update on where we are so far. We've got everything hooked up to the line in. This is the vent pipe that comes. There's going to be the that uh, vent piece that goes on the end of that that provides a vent. And then I've got the outlet coming. Got a union here. And the reason I've got that is so that I can take the pump out if I need to. The union over here where it comes loose, union over there where it comes loose, and I can just lift the whole thing out. And then got the elbow in there. One thing I wanted to show you was the smooth elbows. You definitely want those on the um, discharge side of the pump so that stuff doesn't get clogged in there. I shouldn't be putting anything in there that's large enough to get clogged, but I just kind of want to follow a best practice on that. So that is that. And then got to get uh, up to there, drill a hole, go across the rafters underneath. So onward more work all right so here we are and we're pretty much done with it uh, got the vent over there got the union so i can take it out and then i got the one-way valve there and then uh, up at the top got the elbow and then it's going all the way back over there and uh, i've already tested it once but i'm going to go fill the sink up with water and uh, see if i can let you guys hear how it sounds when it kicks on it's really not that loud but let me go fill the sink up and then pull the plunger and i'll be right back to let you hear what it sounds like and how quick it evacuates all the water out all right so we got a fair amount of water in the sink there i'm gonna go ahead and pull the drain and all right we should hear water draining and it'll kick on shortly should anyways
And that's it. It doesn't take but a couple seconds for it to uh, evacuate. So pretty cool. I'm happy with uh, how that turned out. So I put everything over there to the side like that, just so I'm probably going to build like a small platform over top of it and maybe put like uh, the fridge for the fermentation over here on top of it, just so that it doesn't get knocked around and stuff. And I've got, there's a corner in the corner there, there's a cover for it. So I'll be putting that over top and that's why I kind of put everything in line. There's a slot in it so I can do that. So that is the update on the water and the lift pump situation. All right, so the Bruzilla Brew Day came off without a hitch. One of the things that I wanted to show you, and I didn't have a chance to go through it because I was pretty much moving quickly after I got done shooting the last part of the lift pump video, but there are a few things missing, actually one thing missing from the sprayer sink uh, faucet that I got. So I want to show you that. <laughs> and then I'm also going to leave a recommendation for another one on eBay that's about the same price as what I paid for this one. I think it was like $112 that I paid for this one, free shipping. So there's another one that's a few dollars more, but comes with something that this one was missing. So I'll show you real quick what that is. And then uh, we'll talk about a couple of things. All right, so here's the sink. The one thing that I, about this that I don't like really is that I got too long of a faucet on here. So this thing can actually spill water out onto the floor. So I'm gonna change, I'm winding up changing that out with like an eight inch instead of a 12 inch. So it's a little more acceptable for what I'm doing. The other thing is, so this is the part that the faucet normally attaches to. This sits here, then the faucet goes up on top of here. And then the other thing that it comes with is the sprayer, which is great. However, what it didn't come with, as you can see, there's a threads on the bottom of there. So after this piece goes here, there needs to be another pipe that runs in between this faucet and the sprayer. So the issue is I had to buy that piece of pipe in order to make this whole system whole. And I don't know why they did that. I mean, it, they, if they would have, you know, it was, it would have been an easy upsell for them if they were mentioned it in their description. I just, you know, I didn't pay attention. I just saw the price and I thought it was a good deal. So that is an issue that I had to fix. So just beware. And I, like I said, I'll leave a, a link in the description for another faucet that's pretty much the same as this. I mean, I, overall, I'm impressed with this thing. It comes with extra O-rings. I mean, all kinds of stuff. The fit and finish of it has been awesome as far as what I've used so far. So I can't complain too much, but it was just a little annoying that it didn't come with that pipe. So live and learn. And then the other thing with this too, be sure when you purchase your sink that you check to see what the distance, what the size of the opening in is and that you're not flushing water out past the edge of the sink. All right, so as much fun as putting the sink in and brewing and all that stuff was, I gotta take it all back out because I'm gonna start doing the floor. Those of you that follow on social media know what type of flooring and stuff I'm gonna be doing. So if you're not following us over there, definitely go follow us over on social media. I do kind of behind the scenes stuff that shows upcoming things. So be sure to follow us over there. If you're not following us over there, you'll just have to wait and see what I'm gonna do. So. Um, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. We certainly appreciate it. Uh, stick around for more of these brew, uh, build, brewery build videos. I'm going to be updating some more. Hopefully I can get some more stuff done. I am taking off some time here in the near future to try to just focus solely on the brewery and get a lot done in a short time period. So we'll see you on the next video. This has been Brian for Short Circuit of Brewers. Have a good day.